All right, let's be honest here. Mountain riding is hard, and you might not be cut out for it. Is that too dramatic? Before I dive into this crazy world of mountain snowmobiling, let's, uh, let's dive into why mountain riding is so popular. Mountain riding isn't a relatively new phenomenon. When snowmobiles were first made, a majority of them were just built for utility, getting around the farm. But really, over the last decade or so, even the last two decades, mountain riding has really grown in popularity. So out here in the West, we are lucky to have millions and millions of acres of public land. And when you combine that with the ability to go anywhere you want, essentially, within reason, on a snowmobile, you have freedom. You're not stuck to a designated road. You're not stuck to designated trails. You don't have to worry about trespassing. There's no better feeling than that sense of freedom. Once manufacturers understood the significance of mountain snowmobiling, they started pouring millions and millions of dollars into technology. There's no better way to put it. Mountain riding is sexy and it sells. So this video really is about everything you need to know before planning a trip to the mountains. Along with being a backcountry guide here in Wyoming, I also help volunteer on search and rescue missions. And usually a lot of those rescue scenarios have a lot in common. And that one common factor typically is people that are unprepared. And one thing that I've picked up from a lot of my clients really that they're surprised by is just how remote Wyoming is. You're usually hours away from help. You don't have cell coverage, and you're usually, when you're riding in the mountains, you're nowhere near any sort of civilization. And so with that remoteness, that's really why it is super important that you are prepared. The second thing that gets a lot of people in trouble is avalanches. So understanding how avalanches work can save your life. And do I think that you should be an avalanche expert when you come out west? No, but it should at least be in the back of your mind and you should understand that they do happen. And so hopefully you have second thoughts about doing something risky. In our particular situation, a lot of people underestimate the elevation here in Wyoming. You go farther west, places like Idaho, maybe parts of Montana, where it's a little bit lower elevation, it's not as big of a deal. But here in Wyoming, a lot of our parking lots start at 9,000 feet and go up. And if you're from somewhere around sea level, 9,000 feet will get you winded pretty quick. Because the terrain is so uneven and not flat here in the West, a lot of people lack basic navigation skills. You gotta watch out for things here like cornices, crevices, avalanche terrain, avalanche traps, creek drainages, open water. And that is a lot of the times why people say never ride alone because it, things can happen really, really fast here in the mountains. All right, all right, all right. I don't want to scare you. I promise this video gets more lighthearted. I just want my clients that come with me or people that are just planning trips out west to respect the backcountry. Mountain riding is a blast. It's, it's, I think everyone should do it at least once in their life. You should also understand the culture of uh, Wyoming and some of these places out west. The culture is a little bit different. So there's some things that we do as a fifth generation Wyoming local. There's some things that we do prevent putting fuel on the fire and getting our riding areas shut down. And one of those things that we actively practice is our leave no trace principles. It's a big initiative by the National Forest um, and essentially what it means is that if, whenever you recreate in these public areas that are protected for the benefit of future generations, it's important that you, when you recreate you basically leave no trace. You, you don't exist once you leave. 
Now with snowmobiling, obviously we leave tracks, but when another storm comes in, those tracks are covered. And that's why we're able to go wherever we want, unlike a four-wheeler during the summer months. If you go off trail on a four-wheeler, you can tear up the vegetation and those tracks are there for years on end. This mountain snowmobiling has one of the steepest learning curves, but once you get past survival mode and you start learning how to use the terrain to your advantage, it, it really is like a skate park with eight feet of snow. That's what it feels like. It's unbelievable. There's no, it, there's no sport like it, truly. I really don't think there is. You should go with someone that's done it before and they kind of understand what it's about because it just helps your experience. If you've never been here before, you're not gonna know how to analyze the terrain. You're not gonna know what these mountain snowmobiles are capable of and what they were engineered to do. So I think it's super crucial that you hire a guide, and that's not a plug for, that's not a plug for our guide service. I, rec I have a pile of people that I recommend going to see that are great guides that can make sure you have an awesome time in the backcountry. But I also, at the same time, I, I get it. Uh, snowmobiling is expensive and you're trying to save money. At the very least, go with a trusted friend that has the patience and the backcountry skills necessary to take you in the mountains and have a great time. Highly, highly recommend doing that. Hope you're not scared. Mountain riding is a blast. Uh, we're a backcountry guide service. We'd absolutely love to answer any questions that you have. Understand that you're not gonna be instantly good at it, but hopefully when you come out west the first time, you can see the potential. And really that does it for this video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of mountain riding is. Maybe tell me a story about one of your mountain riding experiences. We're sitting here in September, the season feels like it's just around the corner and uh, we'll be putting out some sled videos here soon. So thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one.